Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Sha, Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Sha. I want to give all praise to Yahawa, Bashem, Yahweh Sha, Bashem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. And Barak the thumbs to all you brothers that's out here teaching this truth with faith and sincerity. And it's January 1st, 2019. And uh, I'm on this website, cnbc.com. And this is Elon's must three, pre pre three predictions for the future. Okay. And in this article, it goes to talk about the mark of the beast, okay? It says, you will be able to connect your brain to computers in 10 years. As if Tesla, SpaceX, and the Boring Company weren't enough to keep Musk busy, he also has a company, Neuralink, that is developing that is developing ultra high bandwidth brain machine interface to connect humans and computers as the company website explains okay and this uh the the company name is called neuralink and they have a website neuralink.com but the the project that they're working on the pacific uh, thing is called Neuralace, okay? And uh, we can go ahead and Google that Neuralace. This is what Neuralink, the company, is working on, okay? And Google already has uh, a definition, okay? Like many other videos that I've shown, okay? What is Neuralace? At its most basic form, Neuralace is an ultra-thin mesh that can be implanted in the skull, forming a collection of electrodes capable of monitoring brain function. It creates an interface between the brain and the machine, okay? It's just like... <clears throat> it's just like... The movies, okay, when when they put when they combine machine <coughs> and computer, and you gonna be able you gonna be able to do things with that with that shit in you if you accept that shit, okay. And uh, on the company, they're uh, basically putting it out there as as a uh, as a means of solving. Uh, diseases and shit, okay, like, like Alzheimer's and other diseases, but the, the point is, it, it says 10 years, no, that's, that's inaccurate, okay, because they already have this thing up and running, it may not be the specific neural lace, but they have the technology and they already have it out there, okay, they already uh, have, it's a video on YouTube, and this man, he has a chip in his brain, but it's not wireless. You see, the neural lace, okay, the phone had went off on me, but the neural lace is the mark of the beast, okay, along with the, with the uh, RFID chip, okay? The RFID chip is going to get forced when when the when the US economy crashes, when that martial law takes over, <clears throat> and they gonna force people to get the RFID chip in their right hand, okay? That the RFID chip is gonna go in your right hand, okay? And then the other form of the mark of the beast is the neural lace. And that's gonna go in your forehead, okay? That's going to go in your forehead. And this is Revelation. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay? Okay? 
and that Neuralink shellac the the neural lace is what's gonna go on your forehead, okay? And this is uh verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save that he have the mark or the num or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? And when like I said, like when the when the economy crashes and they and they force you to get the mark of the beast, and you have the mark of the beast in your hand on that chip in that chip, it's gonna have your currency on it, okay? That's gonna be that's gonna be your new currency. And you're not gonna be able to buy or sell unless you have this mark of the beast, man, unless you have this microchip. And the only way you'll be saved is if, is if you got your hour and your hour shot on your side, man. The only way you be you'll be saved is if you part of the holy elect, man. That one hundred and forty four thousand, okay. And uh, that's basically all I want to go into. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna also have that video. At the end of this, it's going to be right here, okay? So that's basically, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopefully elect. Old expression for overcoming less than desirable situations, mind over matter. And for 23-year-old quadriplegic Ian Burkhart, that's exactly what had to be done. Burkhart became paralyzed after a 2010 diving accident, but now Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center has just had a breakthrough discovery that may help many quadriplegics across the globe. They were able to get Ian Burkhart to move his hand with the power of thought. Doctors, neuroscientists, and engineers from Battelle were able to implement cutting-edge technology by installing a chip directly into Ian's brain. Installing a chip directly into Ian's brain. Dr. Ali Reze installed the chip in the area of the brain that controls the movement of the hand. Engineers at Battelle developed software, algorithms, and a sleeve which transmits thoughts and neurons from the brain directly into the arm in less than a tenth of a second. The signals are then taken from the chip and bypass the injury in the spinal cord, linking the signals directly to the muscles in the arm. Other technologies used in the past have been robotics, exoskeletons, or computers to move muscles, but this is the first using just the power of thought. Just the power of thought. Pretty cool. Something that I think people maybe um, only beginning to look at uh, is establishing some kind of uh, brain computer interface. Um, so a brain computer interface. Yeah, at, at the at the neuron level. Um, so this is sort of intellig in, 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 um, intelligence augmentation as opposed to artificial intelligence. Right. Um, and I think that that is that has a lot of potential. Um, you mentioned to me this to me yesterday. I really had kind of no idea what you were talking about, and then I looked up Ian Banks, mm -hmm. neural lace. Neural lace. That's right. Exactly. And so it's this concept of you know wiring the brain. So it's either we could there there could be a brain internet, mm -hmm. and it could also mean that we can upload our thoughts to the cloud. You you would never forget anything. <laughs> you and you wouldn't need to take photographs. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's incredible. I mean, it's, you, you would never forget anything. You would expand um, your, your ability to, to process information, to remember information, right? Um, but then, I, I but then when the denial of service attack happens... <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for hacking. That could really right, be awkward. Watch out for yeah. that. Um, but, but also, and then I read it can also be used to fight degenerative diseases like Parkinson's too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it actually would be quite um, quite an equalizer as well, because I think the, the the delta between uh, you know it, it, like it would it would sort of even things out. I think. You mean in humankind, yeah, people yeah. would be there would be no um, education disadvantage. Everyone would yeah. be starting at the same level. Yeah. 
So there would be no meritocracy. No, there would be there would new be, meritocracy. There would You'd be, but it would be the, like the differences would be smaller. Um, the delta would be smaller, probably. Wow! And yeah. you really welcome that kind of world. All right, welcome. The, you asked for predictions. Okay. Um, <laughs> for predictions right. are not the same as right. preferences. Um, so, I, I mean, do I think something like that is likely to occur? I think pro probably. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's incredible. Um, we could go on and on. Unfortunately, we have to wrap and leave it at that. Let's let's give it up for Elon Musk. That was really awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.